Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is an amateur flyweight bout and will be contested over three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He represents Aspire Combat Sports Academy. He has a record of zero wins with one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the cage, Bobby Christensen. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He has a record of two wins with one defeat. He represents Manchester top team and the Daywalkers. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Wood. Our referee is Mr. Nico Joka. UKFC 24 in Preston. Flyweight bout here, Nat Wood from Manchester top team and the Day Walkers in the red corner. Grey shorts, taking on Aspire's Bobby Christensen. Blue corner, light blue shorts. Two excellent, or should I say three excellent gyms. So I'm expecting a good fight here, Steve. Oh, absolutely, Manchester top team, along with the Day Walkers and then Aspire Combat Sports Academy. Two northern gyms, two northern powerhouse gyms, really. Yeah, absolutely, two of the best in the country. But these guys slugging down, Nat looking with some really strong hands there, looks to be landing the more powerful shots. Christensen seems a little bit phased. Oh, oh, that knee, he responded to that knee to the midsection. And it's all pressure at the moment from the MTT Daywalkers, man. Yeah, Christensen came out looking pretty sharp behind the jab, but Nat just got in his face, started landing the short shots and worked inside the distance. And uh, yeah, certainly didn't want to be on the end of Christensen's range. And he's making the most of it being on the inside now. It was, it's, it's not been that many days since we saw a simple one, two, as long as you're willing to stand in the pocket, beat one of the greatest kickboxers of all time. So Sean Strickland can use a simple one, two inside. I love those knees that like Wood is working. He's just, he, he's not giving Christensen any, ch any chance to breathe. Yeah, no it's rest all by pressure. all. Huge shots coming in there from Wood. Christensen, to his credit, hanging in there, right. eating the shots, body and head. Staying in, but again, those knees to the body. Yeah, and on the little breaks, Wood breaks and then hits. He's doing a really nice job there. Well, eat mixing a little, it up. Eat a little uppercut there from Christensen. And Christensen now, on the neck. Nice, hits the sweep, looks for the guillotine. Oh, and a great defensive work from... Nice snap down, looks, wants a dash by the looks of things. Good work again from Nat Wood, but we got a fight here. Absolutely. Oh, that shot got through. Yeah, big right hand from Wood. Just as Christensen had found the first bit of breathing space, pops out a nice jab again. Really got to try and stop Wood from coming in. Yeah, it's that pressure, it's that hockey fight there. And again, just pressuring, staying, always staying busy. Oh, yeah, I'm losing weight watching this one. Yeah, strong underhook there from Wood, pressing Christensen to the fence. Good head position. Oh, oh flying, triangle. flying triangle! I don't think he's got it in there. They slid down, but why not have a go if you've been hey. stuffed on the fence and you can't get out? A bit now, and again, working that, getting that high, high guard up. Well, I guess that's why not have a go, because Wood followed up with some big ground yeah, Absolutely power, huge ground but it, ha it hasn't stopped Christensen oh, for the searching arm. for the Fair alley. That looks deep. Wood not yet. fairly composed, the elbow's oh, low. Has to transition it. He might have that elbow just out from the hips. And he's out, is oh. that time in the round, wow. Was that time in the round? Yeah, I didn't hear a round. bell, <laughs> I didn't hear a warning. Wow. <laughs> Too much going on. All right, so. Christensen threatening with the submission at the end. Nat Wood working all that pressure. Ooh, this is a good fight, Jay. Brilliant fight, and that was close. Nat Wood's poker face was brilliant, but that was right in front of us, and there was some real talk on that elbow. Yeah. I think his elbow was just a little bit too far out for that to be devastating. You see there yeah. on the replay, just a little bit past the hips, and that's what freed it for him, but at the start, the elbow was in, but good job there from uh, Wood to survive that, but Christensen showing he's dangerous, no matter how the rest of the round went. Absolutely, you can't count him out. Yeah, epic fight, four fights between them, these guys, and uh, yeah, showing some really high-level stuff. 
Yeah, Wood, slightly more experience. And Christensen, the Aspire prospect in the baby blue Hayabusa. That Wood, the empty team in, the gray shorts. Cage doors closed. Yeah, Christensen wearing it on his face a little bit, underneath the yep. eyes. Yeah, a lot of shots to the head and body in the first round from yep. Wood, but never stopped him. You know, Wood, see if Wood can just keep that aggressive pace up. Another nice knee up the middle. Yeah, it worked well but from that position, but Christensen almost turned him off. Oh, he does manage to turn him just to turn him. But Wood, yeah. Little turn around, almost gets on the hips. Yeah, is he is he going to look to try and drop level, or is he going to look to dis to land those knees? Looked like Christian was almost thinking about that flying triangle again after uh, having some success, some success off his back. But Ward, that, that right hand over the top's working well. Love that timing on that knee though from Christensen. And a great takedown defense. We're trying to get under the hips. Christensen saying, not this time. Knee shield up there. Christensen thinking about a throw. Sometimes just showing the uh, showing the throws enough to find some space. <laughs> Looking at swinging the pocket now, Christensen. Whether that's the widest idea doesn't seem to phase him. Well, Christensen. I mean, we I I, I mentioned this on in, 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 in almost every fight. He does seem to have a little more a little more range on his opponent. So perhaps using that a little bit, fighting at range, making it hard for Wood to come in. But right now, Wood seems to be able to close that distance whenever he likes. Yeah, more like a safe shot, showing some of the feints, the uppercuts as he comes in maybe. There are things a tall guy can try and do with a really aggressive guy, but Wood hasn't been deterred by anything yet. Oh. Front teeth up the middle, almost connected, but again, we've got Wood in on the clinch. Pressuring. Yeah, I like the idea of that shot through the middle and you know a couple of inches to the left. That could have been a perfect shot. Narrowly missed, and then Wood use the opportunity to charge forward again. And he does it well, punches his way in, gets the reaction, then clinches. Almost getting to a almost a bit of a stalemate here. Lots of lots of forward pressure coming from Wood, but Christensen make disengage it. <laughs> nice. I like Wood went there when yeah. he starts to string those shots together in close range. Christensen shoots again. Shoot. He's under the hips. Got those hands clapped. Turns that corner with that. So lovely take down for Christensen looking to wrap the legs. Not but long left Not to long work, left though. in the round. Leave something in the mind of the judges at the end of the round. You're in top position. Woo. Yeah, that might, after the success of that last takedown, we might see uh, Christensen go to that earlier, maybe in round three. Maybe he'll feel confident that he can get that, but yeah. For me, probably not enough for him to still round two, but. We've got know, two really tight 10-10, yeah. like two close 10-10s. 10 10-9, uh, 10 sorry, 10-10, ten ten, jeez. Yeah, excellent fight there. I think um, Wood was less aggressive in the clinch in round two. Uh, didn't land as much, so the gap was probably closer than, uh, than in round one, but still doing lots of good work, hustling his man down, pressing him to the fence. Yeah, he worked tight and close. I, I like it when he, uh, when he sort of mixes between the clinch and the dirty boxing from there. Just got yeah. some nice shots. Oh, when Wood's like in your face, sort of, Almost in the phone booth with you. He's looked impressive. Well, third and final round. Took ought to be three. This is third, right? Yeah, this second. Is Good this lord. Is and that wood in the gray. Bobby Christensen in the blue. Yeah, Chris straight right down the pipe for wood there. Christensen needs that. Needs that jab. Needs to be assertive with it. The front kicks can work as well. But just backing up too linear to the fence. Yeah, and 
you want to halt Matt Wood coming forward, and the only way you're going to do that is to start sort of meeting him and coming forward yourself. Yeah, and just stepping off at uh, angles yeah. and circling as opposed to going straight back because Wood's going to drive you straight forward to try and push you to the fence. So if you're helping him along by going straight on the back foot, unfortunately, it just uh, leads to him getting pressed against the fence again. See that third try, the throw again, not necessarily to get the throw, but just to get the reaction to free himself from the clinch. It's good work from Christensen. A nice body shot, a stiff jab behind it. Some nice work from the Aspire man there. Yeah, Wood came back firing, got hit out at range. That's not body type for body type, that's not where he wants to be. So got back in behind his punches, got back to the clinch, tightening yeah. things up. It's staying busy, peppering away, peppering away with body shots. Yeah, Wood landed some really good knees in the first round. He's not really used them since. I would like to see him go back to those as well when he's in there. Oh, nice switching stance. Good jab from both hands, Christensen. Switches from southpaw to off-rock, and the uh, jab to off both sides. But still, just can't keep that Wood off him. Yeah, would pre consistently pressure, but again, I mean, would accepted that disconnection and pushes forward. Yeah, Christensen scoring with some uh, Chris strikes in round three. He just can't keep Wood off enough. He, he can land one or two, and then he's uh, he's driven back again. I do think like if Wood stays busy and needs it changes when he's here and lands more shots, yeah, it'd be more impressive for the judges. There come the knees back again. Inside of the thigh, outside of the thigh, the mid and then disengages. Body shot, nice. Yeah, those punches in bunches from uh, Ward look really nice and a good right knee to the body. And again, gets inside, closes down that distance. Just not giving Christensen enough space to work. Oh, doing it again, going for it again, but. Yeah, 10 seconds left in the last round, why not? Why not? Why not? Still wants to win this late in the fight. Hammer fist from the bottom, big ground and pound from the top. And I think, I think Matt Wood thinks he's done enough. Yeah, nice final footy there from Wood, some good ground and pound. And you know, a competitive fight all the way through. Absolutely. You'd, if if Christensen could have just managed to push forward a little bit more, as opposed to be, I suppose, reacting. Fantastic fight, great result for Nat Wood. I'll be back in a moment, Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, before the decision, please give a round of applause to these two young fighters. What a fight. So ladies and gentlemen, after three hard fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. And we you have a unanimous decision. For the red corner, Matt Wood. And ladies and gentlemen, please, another round of applause for Bobby Christensen.